Right, so portable Spanish windless trap or style trap. It is portable, I wouldn't say it's pocket sized or anything like that. You could probably make it smaller, but that is a completely portable Spanish windless trap or style trap. Uh, what I'll do, I'll set it up, pretty simple, and then I'll kind of go over it and show you. So you got this. This is the only thing I wasn't too sure of is the long kind of trigger stick. But you could, you may be able to modify it, whatever. So you could also, on this part, you could put a spike and ideally you could just put a row of nails along that or something or at least a nail, one nail at least. And see how it works? The nail would easily sit, sit just here by the side of this. I will bring this closer so you can see in a minute. And then your bait, you can tie your bait on the end of there. The only thing is this has to be light as possible or this needs to be really strong because this part has to lift this out of the way. Right, so as you can see, a plank of wood and then we've got these two bits on the side with a hole each side and that's where the windlass bit comes in a bit of string through these wound up and held with a screw because they obviously want to come undone if you don't a notch in the end of here, that bit you know to make it stay where it's supposed to that's one end of the trigger and then the other end is just another loop probably get out a bit of wire and you can tie your bait to the knot I'll bring this close so you can have a, have a look setting it up <coughs> so you see it a little bit better here now That's how that works. Like I said, you could put some nails in this or some sort of blade in there. And this works pretty much the same, near enough exactly the same as the spring bird traps. And that's kind of where I modified it from. Whereas on them, you would have your round bit like this and then round bit the other side. I thought if you just did it with a straight bit and then a bit like this, That'd work easy, but like I said, this is even needs to be quite strong, and really this needs to be as light as possible. But it still needs to be strong enough to hold it down. But then you're only really holding it at this end anyway. There's not much pressure this end. It's more this end. Obviously if the animal pulls it this way, that's not going to be so good, but that's how these things are. And you can also shrink this down and make it smaller, depending on, you know, whatever animals, or you could make it bigger. But that is, you know, a self-contained, portable, Spanish windless type trap. Right, cheers for watching, I'll see you later.